Welcome to episode 18 of Happily Entangled AF. Welcome to our home and welcome to our Pennywise Hall, our married couple's Pennywise Hall. So we've noticed a lot of female vloggers are showing you their loot. Some are single and some are also maybe married, but they are showing you what they purchase for themselves. So today we want to show you what families are purchasing. For us, we are a small family of just three, but it's very different when you're single and you're buying just for yourself when you have to purchase for the family. So today, Pazir is out doing our shopping and I get to sit back on this couch and relax, sip some tea and wait for him to walk through that door. So for as long as I can remember, I have been shopping for my own personal care items and I would try to uh, do my shopping on, you know, during off-peak times. When Asma and I got married, um, I was already coming once a month at that time uh, to pick up my items, so it just made sense of whatever she needed. Uh, since she would have been at work, that she just told me whatever she wanted and I would pick it up for her. And that arrangement seemed to work out really nicely because, you know, it saves her time. We don't, it's not necessarily something that we have to do together. And if I'm being 100% honest, I'll also mention that um, I like it, I've become efficient at it, but it's also ever so often it makes for some good retail therapy as well so it's a very enjoyable experience today it's not so much about efficiency i'm really taking my time and trying some new products which you'll get to see in a short while <sighs> hey baby how is it it was pretty good um good experience at pennywise today the office time was up well and no traffic thankfully could you believe that no traffic coming into gasper even on the return leg here so that, lucky that was phenomenal i was lucky very lucky indeed um you ready to see what the uh, stash is uh, uh. all right good so let's deal with the let's deal with the general housekeeping right this is um things that we buy in every penny wise well the essentials yes the yes. vital supplies you know every woman needs this and no shame with a man going to pick it up I have no shame whatsoever picking this up for the wifey. Yeah. We actually did a video on that as well, talking about men should not be ashamed to purchase feminine products for their wives, mothers, sisters, or any other female for that matter. So um, these are the regulars, and these are your nighttime with wings, with wings. nighttime protection with wings. Yeah, uh, we've got three packs of those as well, so you have to fly for much. a little while. Um, we try to do our pennywise um, shopping. Uh, once every three to four months so like before I left today we would have kind of assessed what we already have what we have excess of and we just buy enough to restock for another three to four month period right um, so that's one two is this guy Mark three shavers you know because you're gonna shave you know gotta, and you're gonna, don't get the yeah they don't bruise your skin so gotta take care of that body here man I've been using um, Gillette Mark 3 shavers I know that for, for, for some of the younglings that might seem real outdated because uh, I think they have like a Mark 4 out of now right so yeah but the Mark 3 has always worked perfectly for me I do get I, I used to get a lot of bumps before shaving and um, this this does the job and she's it's one of them I just started using it right so it works well for her as well so we got a resupply of this so a pack of four and a pack of four because I keep a beard now and I don't shave every day this would last a really, really, really long time. Like, I probably may not have to buy until the end of the year again. Um, what else you got in there? This is something that everybody buys when they go to Pennywise. Pennywise. Every single person. Without a dog. Why is it open? Because they're coming off sealed pack. Well, they usually do, but today they, um, the, the entire bin was only singles, but they still have the offer um, $3.25 for one or $12 for a pack. $12 this for four. I think yeah. when you go to Pennywise, if you leave with nothing at all, you leave with caramel. Yeah, boy, for real. And we've been trying to eat clean, but we always have to make an exception once every four months for caramel from Pennywise. I bought some um, four, but I paid the driver with one. Which driver? I happen to be the driver. <laughs> 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 so I came back in with three. Uh, okay, what else is in the hall? Uh, there's a lot, so I'll try to move as quickly as possible. This is our toothpaste supply. Okay. Yeah. So this is our toothpaste supply. Um, we, we do have some left over. Um, we need the vital supplies, the regular um, Colgate. 
Um, so this is like this is like base level for consistency. This is one that we really enjoy using actually. The flavor on it is really good. Um, it's called Dabur. Dabur is the name of the brand. Um, Dabur Miswa, right? Um, so these are herbal toothpastes and it works out really good. I, I'm a bargain shopper by the way when I go to Pennywise, right? So um, I happen to like this and when you buy, instead of buying a single pack, you buy two packs, you get five dollars off. That works out really good. And, and it also comes with a toothbrush as well. You get like a medium toothbrush in each of them. So we got two uh, toothbrushes here. Um, this is kind of boring, you see your toothpaste all the time, yeah. so you need to like mix it up. Spice up your life, your even, even when you're brushing your teeth, man. So yeah. we've got these um, dabours, and that's it for this bar, but I know there's another toothpaste somewhere around. Uh, yeah, they're here. I got us some Crest, a value pack from Crest, just because it was on sale, I picked this up, because, you know, toothpaste is toothpaste for the most part, right? So it was on sale, good deal, good bargain, can't remember the price now, but I got that one time, and... I decided to experiment with this. Every time we go, you look forward to something new. So black seed oil is, um, as Muslims, black seed is um, is revered as a, like a sunnah food, um, something that is prescribed, it's healing, has medicinal properties, right? Any disease you can use black seed for. So I've never had black seed, used black seed toothpaste, so we're gonna give this a go and see how it goes. And because we're experimenting, that's why I would, would have only purchased one, because uh, you, know, you don't know how that's gonna taste in your mouth, if you're gonna like it or not, so. How you come to react. Yeah, so we're just gonna um, try one of those. Um, Flossers are really important for me. I use these at least once or twice a day. Um, I only eat twice, by the way, so using it twice a day is enough, right? It's not like I'm having a meal and skipping. <laughs> Oh, true, 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 but I'll dissolve, at least that's my justification. So flutters are really good, um, and of course our soap stash, right, the regulars, and... Um, We're really particular with soap because we read the back, like yeah. the labels, and you know. So I stay away from soap with um, triclosan, with triclosan in it. Um, if you read up on it, you'll know that uh, triclosan, uh, there's, a, there's a, like a lot of negative things that can arise from using triclosan, so I try to uh, purchase soaps that don't use triclosan. Additionally, as I'll tell you, I have real issues with sinuses. So things, anything scented could easily trigger my sinuses. This is scented, but for some reason or the other, the palm yes. olive does not trigger my sinuses. I'm able to use these and it's perfectly fine, which is great. Palm olive, Life Boy, um, are usually the brands, Door, um, the uh, Irish Spring, those are all brands that work really well for me. So I could mix that up for the most part, but this is a good, family value buy you get it's like a six pack and it's like twenty dollars or whatever so it works out really well speaking of um family buys and no sense yeah avino so i have really dry skin as well i tested that i have really dry skin and this is about the only he doesn't only. like oils and he doesn't like anything sticky i've been trying to get him to try lapika because it's much thicker and it's going to be you know much better for him but trusty dusty yeah this does not feel oily on my skin, which I enjoy. Additionally, this is non-scented, yeah, fragrance-free. And that works really well for my allergies as well. So I stick with the Avino simply because of it doesn't give me that sticky feel afterwards. I, 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 I like, ah oh man, I grimace when I get that sticky feel on anything. So the Avino works. This is actually the first time I'm buying this size container. Yeah, it's really huge. Yeah, it's really, it's really big. Um, I'll, I'll buy two because remember it's like a three to four month supply, right? So we'll have one that we utilize and one in one storage, in storage uh, usually, right? This is another uh, vital supply because remember it's a three to four month supply. The last thing you want is a wipe running out on that, running out of those and selling you um, to Shopping. the grocery or peak or in peak traffic time to go get those things, right? And we just have three bags remaining, but these three bags will be quite interesting, I think. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's start with this guy. Why? What is this? I don't know. Shampoo. So she just said to me that um, she needed to get shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair and um, she's not very um, very picky actually. So the last time I bought this, I bought Suave, right? Was it Suave? Um, L'Oreal. L'Oreal, right. Yeah. Um, so she just told me today, don't buy the L'Oreal, try something else. So Tresemme, can't go wrong. Tresemme is a um, it's used by professionals, uh, but I don't need to lecture you on Tresemme, you know about Tresemme, right? So I ain't going to go down that road, but yeah, good quality brand, more in the soap, soap stash. Now, it's kind of irking me a little bit that some of these things are packed like this because 
she will tell you, I pack groceries real neat dread. Like seriously, like when I took out my stuff from the cart to put it to the cashier, she got all the soap together, all the toothpaste together, all the staple together, all these things together, and they just pack the thing anyhow, like that real irking me dread. My cousin had a, a shaving accident yesterday and we normally keep a first aid kit in the house and when we open the first aid kit we don't remember using the bandages but we, we, had, none. But we had none. So it's very deep, but yeah. that was it. So it was but a good thing that um I went to bed yesterday so we picked these up so in the event of an emergency. Just replenishing our key tip supplies. Um, it's very important for cleaning your ears, not the inside by the way, but at least the air canal when the wax comes up. Wife! You asked for these. Yeah, my supplies running here. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you've not seen that episode um, uh, about the Lee marriage vlog, <laughs> where yeah, I spoke about, yeah, where I spoke about we'll um, leave the link in how she wakes up in the morning every morning and she's blind, her eyes aren't open yet, and she's looking for that boogie. And every morning I have to help her find that boogie. Stress a man don't need in his life. I don't need to wake up every morning looking Some for a boogie. Some colors, right? Yeah. So she's got good taste. I asked um, the last time I bought it came in like a circular rack yeah. um, with um, like a hundred in the rack or something, right? Absolutely. And this time around they had nothing like that. And this was this was all that they had: a pack of thirty-two, a pack of um, a stack of thirty-two, a stack of uh, twenty-four, and they both cost the same price. I'm like surprised; it was like nine ninety-five each. So maybe the color, I don't know, but yeah, you gotta resupply for the wife. Um, different ones. Different, different types? Yeah. Uh, don't need, don't need this one is stronger. Um, okay, this is very important. Um, I, I think I was talking earlier about um, shopping for the family, right? So this, you know what this is? This is a warm out, right? And this is a, this is a bargain, a, a piece of bargain shopping right here. So most people in Trinidad, when you talk about wood medicine, you might think about Zenta. Kentrax or Zenta, right? Yeah. A pack of Zentel is like twenty-three dollars, right? Expensive. And the active ingredient in Zentel is albendazole, right? Albendazole, right? The active ingredient is that. This is the actual albendazole, right? And this costs two dollars a pack. So when we take Zentel, we'll take uh, we'll take a dose now, and, and then eighty days, 80 later. days later we'll take another dose, right? So whatever eggs, you know, uh, by that time, eighteen days later, you you send in a second wave to wipe that out, right? So twenty-three dollars, and that would have been just for the first, um, <laughs> just for the first dose, right? And for the entire family today, this is one one full dose, right? Two packs, uh, two packs so four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve dollars, and I've gotten a full dose, double dose for all three of us in the household, as opposed to buying the brand name Zentel and paying twenty-three dollars for it, right, for for one pack. So that is crazy, and that is a good buy. Read your labels, man. That's super important. You'll save a ton of money, right? So one medicine sorted. Um, gel, gel. Yeah. So I have been using, and I don't know if you're a if you're a regular Pennywise shopper. But uh, <laughs> she doesn't go. Um, I find like of late a lot of the products that they would carry a lot of brands like I, I'm not able to access it. So I used to use Garnier for this gel hair gel, and then they stopped bringing that. And then I got my hands on Herbal Essences hair gel, and now apparently that's no longer there. So this so because of the exchange with the whole US thing and it's not coming in. So however, in other markets. however that goes. But these are two brands. I had a conversation with the girl in the lane um, and I was asking her because like uh, a lot of the men's brands that I saw that came in tubes um, were like for guys who have like really spiky hair and want to keep their hair spikes with like super like, like a glue, glue, glue kind of strength and I don't need that you know I just need something that keeps my hair moist you know for the most part and that sort of stuff so um, these are the two that I decided to try I've never used these before so these are both going to be um, experiments here uh, max control uh, gel, it's got on a chart of one to, on a scale of one to four, it's uh, a two on the holding power. And this one is um, high hold, moderate shine. So this was the one that I grabbed first because this seemed like it was more it was of my... Because attractive, that's what it is. Like... No, 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 the high, high hold, moderate shine. I'm not I'm not an Old Spice guy usually, although right now I'm wearing a, a cologne that could be like an Old Spice thing. You ever, you ever use musk or smell musk? I, I got it as a gift rather than... Um... <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll try these and see how they go. 
and uh, we'll go from there. So one is for um, one is for me to use immediately, and the other one we have a travel pouch. So I'll put the other in the travel pouch and um, go from there. Yeah, but I didn't want to buy another one I'm of these two brands. Yeah. I don't know which whether I liked it or not. You know. Yes. Yeah. So that's our this is our last bag in the haul, and the last bag in the haul comes well, firstly with. Um, shaving gel, shaving gel. Sh yeah, shaving gel. Uh, this has worked well over the years. I used to buy the uh, one for sensitive skin, but because I'm not shaving anymore, and I'm just marking a beard. Uh, for the most part, I'm fine. Uh, this, this is this is just really for like body yeah. grooming and that sort of stuff. So this works well. Um, once you give it enough time to just kind of like stay on the on the area for a bit, and um, some air fresheners. So we would normally buy the Glade air fresheners, right? And if you want to be real stush, as the ad does, the ad, remember that ad? It's not Glade, it's Glade. Remember that? You know? I don't really look on TV or Okay. So I bought these, right? But these, honestly, they're, they're kind of expensive, right? So I bought these and... What was the reason? Okay, I bought these still because, again, it's scent. So the last thing I want is to um, to, to go with a replacement that will trip my sinuses up because then right. we're just going to have to either dump that or send us in the front room from my mom, right? Um, so I bought these because I'm familiar with these and they don't cause a reaction on my end with, with, with triggering Sinus. up my sinuses and a, and a sneezing fit, right? Um, so the brand itself is trustworthy in that regard. But these cost like one, one third, sorry baby. These cost like one third the price. Yeah, it's a it's a it's like a, an economy brand called Extra, and they cost like one thirty price of it is like thirteen dollars I think for Canada as opposed to like forty forty something dollars. I don't know, but I bought two of these in the fragrances. Oh, it's really nice though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the fragrances that would normally be like very neutral fragrances uh, for me, which would be um, for, oh, my sinus issues, which would be lavender and a fragrance called Clean Linen, because who doesn't like the smell Clean Linen, right? Yeah. And uh, there's another brand called Great Scents, so this is going to be my first time using this as well. And, um, fresh and linen. I yeah. bought the same thing, yeah. lavender and fresh linen as well. Um, so we got that for the family, right? So that's our stash, yeah? Uh, whatever is missing here is simply because we already have stock left over. Uh, and the reason why I would never have tried these before as well too is because the last couple times these ran out, you picked them up at the supermarket. So it's actually been months since I've purchased these. Yeah. You've been getting them at the supermarket but on the way home. We actually had um, a lavender from another, I don't remember which brand it was, but it bugged. Yeah. I don't know if we just had it too long or what it was, but it bugged. I threw it up. So we'll see how these go. And um, that's our Pennywise stash. So. It's January, end of January 2021. Chances are I'm not going to go back to Pennywise until around mm -hmm. May. Yeah, around May. Um, if, if, clearly, April, May. Got yeah, April, May of, uh, of 2021. So we, we save time that way. Plus, you know, like I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like going every month to just go pick up one or two things. I feel like you just buy enough, you have a backup supply. And it's not that like you just throw money at it and buy all these things at the same time. As she would tell you, it's, it took a little while. Every month you buy a little extra of this, a little extra of that, a little extra of one here, one there, that kind of thing. And it builds up over time. And eventually you amass the same way you save money, you save products so that you know after a period of time you don't have to worry about something running out and you're not having a backup supply so that that system works really well for us yeah um how was this different from your typical um pennywise run yeah or even what you see from other bloggers yeah um the world medicine i think we have definitely stood out <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure uh, but we haven't had a world out in a while and when we do it we ensure that um, all three of us in the household would do it at the same time as well. That's usually what's recommended when you do it. Everybody in the household should do it at the same time. So uh, that'll be our January warm out and the next one will be in a couple months time from now. So let us know how this was different from um, a regular uh, vlogger experience of a Pennywise haul and how this was different or similar for you and your family when you do a Pennywise haul as well, you know? so. 
Thanks for viewing. Hope it has added a different dimension. And I hope personally that fellas looking on at this vlog realize, hey, bro, it ain't no thing to go into Pennywise to pick up things. I'm delighted to be able to go into Pennywise and get these things for the family. Um, I asked my mom before I went if there was anything that she would have wanted. And uh, she didn't need anything because after the last Pennywise haul, she went shopping randomly and picked up other things. So she's got a good stash remaining. And, you know, so, so this was just what we really needed. Yes, yeah, to last us for the next couple of months. So that's it. Leave us your comments down below and um, to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, and ladies, if you need a trainer for your husband, uh, somebody to take him into Pennywise, hold his hands uh, <laughs> for the first time. I'll hey. rent him for you know, an hour. She, she, she gonna pimp me out to, 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 to do the Pennywise shopping. The Pennywise pimp. Yeah. <laughs> so until next time, thank you for looking at our married couple's Pennywise haul. And uh, we'll catch you next week, God willing, for another episode of Happily Entangled. So till then. Bye for now. Bye for now.